Three family members of Jamaa Islamia leader Masalamat Kastari have been jailed for harboring him after he had escaped from Whitley Road Detention Centre on February 27th in 2008. Home Affairs Minister K. Shamugam revealed this in Parliament on Monday. Masalamat's niece, Noaini, a Malay language teacher, was sentenced to 18 months in jail. Masalamat's brother, Asmam, was given 12 months, while Asmam's wife, Aisha, was sentenced to three months jail. Mr. Shamagam said Noaini was given the highest sentence because she was considered most culpable. Masalaman made his way to his brother's home in Tampanese on February 29, 2008, two days after he escaped from the Whitley Road Detention Center. He wanted to seek shelter and help from his niece Noaini. Even though his brother Asmam and sister-in-law Aisha were reluctant to let him stay, Noaini persuaded her mother to allow Masalaman to enter the flat. Noaini gave him use of her bedroom, provided him food and water, and also assisted him by destroying the clothing he wore to the flat, which included his WRDC-issued attire. On the 1st of March 2008, before Masalamat left the flat, Noaini applied makeup on Masalamat, secured a todong over his head so that he could disguise himself as a woman to evade detection and recapture. She also gave him several items, including a map of Singapore that showed part of Malaysia. Other members of Masalamat's family also assisted him. Before Masalamat left the flat on the 1st of March 2008, Asmam gave him 100 Singapore dollars and 100 Malaysian ringgits to facilitate his escape from Singapore to Malaysia. Asmam's wife Aisha gave Masalamat an EZ-Link card and hairnet, which he wore as part of his disguise, and some paracetamol. The three were arrested and charged last Wednesday on November 10th. The three were convicted of the charge and sentenced on November 18th. The couple's son, Mahathir, had a lesser role in the matter, as he did not aid Masalamat in his escape, but did not inform the authorities of Masalamat hiding in the flat. Mahathir has been served a stern warning in lieu of prosecution. Mr. Shamugam said Asmam and his family's decision to harbour Masalamat was very wrong, but their actions are not a reflection on the wider Malay Muslim community. Asmam, Aisha and Nuraini had knowingly harboured Masalamat, an escaped prisoner of the state, who they knew was the subject of a massive manhunt. Singaporeans will be undoubtedly disappointed that Asmam and his family had helped Masalamat in his escape. Their actions... Uh, however, not a reflection on the wider Malay Muslim community, who had disapproved of Maslamat's actions and participated in the manhunt for him in 2008. We should therefore not allow this episode to affect the trust and goodwill that has been built up over the years between our different communities. During the parliament session, questions were also raised on whether the sentences of the three family members were too lenient, given that Masalamat is a prisoner of state. Given the seriousness and graveness of the offence, I just wonder whether the minister feels that the punishment for the Asmum and his family members were too lenient. The court is likely to have given way to the fact that the assistance was not premeditated. Rather, the three persons appear to have acted on misguided instincts of family ties on the spur of the moment. Investigations into what Masalamat did after he escaped from Whitley Road and how he left Singapore are still ongoing. For more on the case, watch our other clips.